actually uh, a big brand that a lot of people know and a lot of people are enthusiastic about. Uh, on the adverse side of that, there's actually uh, an issue with maintaining the marketing message for that brand and making sure that that message is getting across through every social platform that we operate and own. Um, we're, we're on nine platforms right now, so it can get a little heady sometimes um, trying to manage and maintain that conversation. Uh, but there's a team of four of us, so uh, really we, we do what we can to make sure that every channel is operated uniquely uh, and appropriately for the audience. I actually brought a clip. Uh, we can take a look. They're still figuring out the tech, so the clip will play. Now, Justin, this is your cue, no, right? No, not yet. No, I know. Yeah, I'm just letting you know. Oh, the yeah. clip will play. Paul's still going to talk about it, but then you're going to have your Twitter madness. Got it. Okay, so go, go ahead, Paul. So the clip just played. Wow, look at that smoking hot car. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, so if you notice... So how could we have our first in the spotlight segment without talking about something that we know is on every single person's mind? The 2012 Summer Olympics. With the way that we receive news today, it's almost hard to imagine that when the Olympics started in the 1800s, we were receiving news on who won, who received medals in our daily newspapers. Imagine waiting an entire day to receive the news about who won a game. Right? I mean, it's a little crazy to imagine because now we've gone from newspapers to radio to television to the internet, and now we've even come to a point where we can actually talk to the athletes directly in the official Olympics hub. It's just amazing. What I think we should change the combo, but what I'm going to say, I just wanted to add, I was going to say, we, wow, Twitter's really going crazy right now. Facebook, we have so many responses, but here's a really good question that just came in from Recessionista. She says, Hey Paul, I actually really love the Audi R8. It's amazing, but how do we how do you measure success for a social media account? Uh, 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 so can uh, I just have her comment on the R8? So it seems yeah, like it's so it's just like say, in the moment. Say, say the first part of that question. I said um, we have a question from Recessionista. Hey Paul, I love the Audi R8 and the Audi brand. How do we? But I want to know how do you measure success for a social media campaign? Or, or, or just, or just uh, let, let's not make it about that. Let's make it about how do I get it? How do I? Uh, uh, how do I get it? 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 How do